Hello, I'm Mayor Phil Good with your weekly update. I hope you enjoyed the weather this weekend. Picture perfect, with lots of sunshine which should continue this week. If you ask folks why they moved to Prescott, one of the top answers you'll hear is our wonderful weather. The much improved weather will also be helpful as we return to working on our city streets. Janet Ramsey, the Public Works Deputy Director, notes that Prescott had a productive monsoon even before this year's snow events, which were unusually frequent and significant. The Public Works Department is working diligently to inventory, assess, and repair potholes. We have a new shortened URL for your ability to report potholes at prescottstreets.com. According to Janet, the same street maintenance crew that plows the snow is responsible for the repair of potholes, so likewise, potholes are repaired in the same order of priority for plowing. Downtown and arterial roads first, with collectors and residential roads after those. As I mentioned previously, we are working on a plan to get those potholes repaired as soon as possible. The city has engaged two private contractors to help us, and they're currently working on Prescott Streets. Pothole data is a factor in the city's pavement management program. Among all the criteria considered for application of the city's pavement management budget, potholes tend to indicate areas of weakened structural support and or damage to the surface. When the roadway meets the budget-based criteria established in our pavement management program, the road will be preserved or reconstructed and the life cycle begins again. The City of Prescott and their contractors are set to begin the fiscal year 2023 multi-layer pavement preservation project. This project includes various pavement maintenance and preservation operations along a multitude of roadways throughout the city. Maps will be viewable on our social media channels and door hanger notifications will be delivered to those directly affected by the specific projects. Consequently, once work begins, residents can expect work to continue Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. There may be occasional night and weekend work. Be aware of the potential for temporary street closures, lane restrictions, reduced speeds, loud noise and flagging operations throughout the work zones. Please help to keep everyone safe by driving cautiously in the work zones. And avoid on-street parking while the road construction is underway in your neighborhood. Once complete, these improvements will extend pavement life and improve the road quality for Prescott motorists. It's anticipated that the work will be completed later this summer. Three Prescott Council meetings will take place tomorrow, April 11th. First will be the executive session. Three topics will be discussed with the city attorneys. The Center for the Future Lease, Deepwell Ranch Tolling Agreement Extension, and the sale of the old City Hall property. During the study session, a presentation from the Mayor's Charter Review Commission will be made regarding the proposed amendments to the city charter which will be voted on at this year's general election in November. Last fall, I formed a mayoral ad hoc group to review and propose changes to the city charter. They have come up with a number of suggestions which they will share with the council. Some of the proposed changes have been discussed in council already. For example, council member meeting attendance, and policies to replace council members when necessary. Other proposed policies are relatively new ideas, such as required residency changes and the stipend for council members. I'll be interested in hearing their suggestions tomorrow. It should be a lively discussion. During the 3 p.m. voting meeting, we have just four items on the consent agenda. We will also be voting on a couple of art donations for a mural, one on the Chamber of Commerce building and one at Granite Creek Park. Council will consider the purchase of a new fire engine truck and six new solid waste collection vehicles. Remember, during the month of April, the City of Prescott is offering residents a free brush drop-off opportunity every Saturday. Please bring ID 
or a copy of your trash bill as proof of your city residency. April is Water Awareness Month. Just in time, the city has launched a new water website with many resources available for saving water and money. Plus, it offers education and activities for kids, teachers, and adults. By the way, water saving tips appear every day in April on our social media pages. I'm Mayor Phil Good. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next week.